Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to City Skylines. We're back in Black Falls again today. Today's project is we're going to build an elementary school and I downloaded a few assets and I just want to see what they look like in game. We've got, let's see here, fun elementary school. It's a, it's a large lot with a playground on the side, I think. This one is the regular one. This one is beautiful high school. We're not going to do that one just yet. High school, university. So I guess I only got the one elementary school. We'll, we'll give this a try. And uh, striving for realism. We're going to be doing some parks and trees and pedestrian paths and that sort of thing around the elementary school. So we have to decide first of all where we want to put it. In the real city there is an elementary school right along this road. So we could break this road out, which is I think what we're going to do, just to keep, get one traffic light out of there as well. Break out these pedestrian paths. We'll give ourselves a nice little area here to put an elementary school. Let's see if this one will actually fit along that road. It will, so that's that's pretty good. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's see what it looks like. So we've got... Uh, let's just pause the game for a sec here. We have the elementary school and then a small playground beside. And, and I mean, this is more realistic than the standard model. What is this? Little paddling pool of sorts? Looks like it. Or a pond or something? I'm not sure. That's a neat looking school anyway. Let's, um, let's decide what we want to do here because I want to have some other assets around. And we've got the soccer field that we downloaded and used in the, in the last playthrough as well. So let's just take a look. That's a city park. I don't think I want that. Gravel farm, no. That one's untitled. Agriculture. Boy, I can't wait till they update this and, and give the assets their custom icons. And by the way, the, the patch they have said is going to break many, many, many of the mods that are, are currently out there. So if you are have a current playthrough going, guys, beware that you're... Excuse me, your mods may end up not working very, very, very shortly. Still not able to quite get that in there. So let's uh, let's bulldoze a couple of these things just to f be able to fit this. Because I really want this in here ASAP. Okay, so can we continue the road? Let's see if we can. Yeah, we can. Excellent. And we'll put some pedestrian pathing in here around the school. Because that seems to make a lot of sense to me. If we can, and we can't. Darn it. Can't even connect close to it. Eh, okay. That's too bad. I wanted a pedestrian path from that street. Maybe we'll put one right here instead. And let's connect this bad boy back up there. And rezone this as residential. Okay, then let's get some more pathing. Boy, this is extremely pedestrian friendly so far. Oh, we can't go quite where we need to. Well, what should I do? Can I come in there? That looks a little weird. That's okay though, because we're going to take out this residential stuff here anyway. Let's see if we have a, a nice little small park or something that we can put in there. That's too big. A little bouncy castle is also too big. Basketball court. Would you flip the other way, basketball court? I guess it's how many tiles is it wide? It is five tiles wide. That's why it won't fit there. Let's just bust this out. Still doesn't want to flip. Come on, turn. Change the camera angle, maybe? No. Nope. Hmm. That's disappointing. Let's see if we can sneak a baseball field in here. A little big? It's a little bit big. I wish you could manually turn these. It seems that you can only do this by chance. 
I have another baseball field. Let's see if we can use that one instead. I have no idea where it is though, so we're going to have to go looking. Baseball field. That one's big too. How big is it? Big enough that it doesn't want to fit anywhere. Let's just see. Yeah, they I mean I'd like to put that down, but that's huge. Um not gonna fit in there apparently. Let's see what this park looks like. Yeah, definitely more suitable for, say, downtown, but it's got a little graffiti on it too, apparently. Um, I don't think it quite fits there, so we'll just take that out for now. I think these are all the farm assets. Let's see if there's anything in the, in the standard ones that'll kind of fit here. Yeah, I don't mind that. And I think we can connect our pedestrian paths up to this. So let's just try that out. Sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of. Whoop, nope, not what I wanted to do. Thanks. Being a little finicky here. That is sort of connected, I guess. Sort of, kind of connected. Yeah, it's too bad we can't connect kind of off of that. Make it look a little continuous. Um, okay, well, any of it, in any event, let's just put some trees instead. I mean, those are kind of the default fill-in. So, trees. Lots of trees, yay. Until we get some more assets to play with, that's going to kind of have to do to, to make things look a little more finished. Can I put trees in there? No, I can't. That's too bad. Maybe step down just a little bit on the tree size. Okay, maybe put a couple big ones just in the second row. Let's look how bad we screwed this up residential wise. Okay, so we need to redraw this alley back in. Get that done right now. And that looks pretty good. Too bad we can't do anything right here. I think that's school space. Yeah, it's school space. That's okay. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's get the game running again because we need some population. It's a beautiful school for 235 people. Uh, we don't have any power coming over there, so I don't really want to draw things for the time being. So we're going to be a little cheaty. These little concrete squares can pull power, I believe. Let's just try this. You know what, if I'm going to do that, I might as well put a power line down. We'll, we'll fix this later. Is it going to reach? No, it isn't, is it? We'll do it on the other side then. Looks 
Pretty good so far. How are people liking our overpass street? Do I have my um, route quarry tool still? A little bit of activity here and there. Not a ton though. Let's see, no pedestrian path usage just yet. And we're out of demand, so we're just going to have to wait until the residential fills in just a bit. We'll speed it up. So the, the one thing that I'm going to do is uh, get some of the traffic mod things, the traffic plus plus or whatever for this playthrough. I refrained from using them in the last one because they had some issues. By the time they were developed a little bit more and, and people had started to use them. Now we got to get some garbage in. Just We'll just pause this. The last time people started to use them, they, they were becoming more and more compatible with the game, though there were still some bugs here and there. Now that they're updating the game again, and uh, we don't really know what they're, they're going to do. For all I know, they've already got a, a traffic mod in this next thing. But if they don't, I'm going to download one and use it this time. And I, I want to get rid of things like this because there's just absolutely no reason that there needs to be a, a stoplight here instead of just a stop sign. And it's too bad that it wasn't in the original game to can be able to configure that, but the mod developers have done a great job of, of getting that into the game, and, and hopefully Colossal Order will eventually add some native functionality into the game to do something like that. I would imagine that they would, uh, being that they were the developers of Cities in Motion, which is all traffic flow based. So I'm, I'm hoping that they, uh, they learn from that and, and learn from this lesson too. Uh, put some, something to do with the traffic lights and traffic flow in. So I will be doing that this time. It's just a matter of waiting for the, the patch that comes at the end of the week. We need to do a garbage disposal facility here, so I think I just want to plop a recycling center down. And the most logical place for that is right in our industrial area. There we go. And we can run the game again. These guys still don't have power. How is that? We're just out of power. We just don't have enough. Yeah, that's that's what's happening. We'll get another turbine down. There we go. Okay, so between now and the next episode, I'm going to do some developing in the city, and we'll come back with whatever my next project is going to be. But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to stay tuned for the rest of the playthrough and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Always appreciate having new members of the community. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.